hello everyone welcome to my channel and welcome to let's <laughs> what am i saying happy sunday guys how are you all doing so today we're actually having a little bit of a new settings not necessarily a new setting but i have you know a wider monitor and i'm now trying to you know get it all right collagen 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 why do we talk so much about collagen? We talk so much about collagen because it is the most requested a video. No joke about that. Really and truly, my mailbox is always filled with emails about collagen. Now, what is this collagen? It is actually the main protein found in the body. And when the collagen is actually strong, what happens? Your skin produces you know, more elasticity, your skin can tend to look firm and healthier looking, younger looking. So what happened? Why, if the body is doing all of that, why are we still talking about it? We're talking about it because as we age, what happened? The machines start to get bad. The collagen production start to slow down. And when it slows down, our skin start to look age. You know, we start to get wrinkles. We start to get fine lines. We start to just look sagging and all kinds of things start to go on on the skin that we personally, like for me, don't want there. And I know a lot of you there, out there want to look your age or even younger looking. So we start to worry about it. But guess what, guys? No need to worry because there's so many natural resources, so many natural ingredients, so many natural remedies that you can use on your skin to boost the collagen production in the skin. In a couple of weeks, you will be looking amazing for this fall, okay? Welcome to Sunday Chit Chat. If this is your first time, a warm welcome to you on Sunday Chit Chat. We just talk about issues, the topic, chit chat, take questions, do some shout outs and have a good half an hour together. And Marie Bryan, how are you? Lucy Najjar, welcome, welcome, regular on the show. Patricia Singh, Sharon Henry, Constant Mafuma, Rachel R, the early days with Jesus. This is like a first time. I probably, I've seen you seen i've seen you can tell she put a lot of time into everything thank you so much we have mag uh, magdalene regular on the show we also have nikki hi nikki hi i wonder if that's my nikki kind of look like that from the face loretta grace how are you and 90 um, percent of the names that i'm calling today are like my dieted subscribers no joke most of them are here with me since day one and that is why i could just look recognize the names some of them i can recognize the face stella power how are you we also have double m greeting does your bone structure affect your skin elasticity and yes Yes, yes, it does. All right, so I recently did a video and I think I went a little, you know, deeper and I was talking about bones, but um, as we all know that um, collagen, like collagen powder, most collagen powder is made from bones, okay? And in bones, you're gonna find the calcium and the collagen boots and ingredients. So it definitely is, you know, work and in on with the bones. And I'm gonna actually, I'm not sure if I can do a video just really talking about bones since bones is a little, um, a topic that might is a thin line between um medical and just chit chatting so i will have to research that and then i'll come back to you and we talk more about bones so we're just going to focus today on collagen boots in what you can do to boost the collagen production in your skin now if you are a regular on the channel you probably already know some of these awesome awesome remedies and ingredients that you can use to boost the collagen but we're going to add more things to that today and i'm basically going to just give you a full layout of ways that you can boost the collagen um 
especially in your skin, but overall. You might not be aware that you can put collagen, you can boost collagen outside and you can boost collagen internally. A wonderful way to rev up that collagen is to eat a lot of dark green vegetables. For those of you out there who are like not so crazy about vegetables, like I have my aunt here with me visiting from Jamaica. She's somewhere in the kitchen cooking up some good stuff. And she's so, oh, hello, auntie. Don't want to eat her vegetables. And she's at the age where she needs to be boosting the collagen production in her skin. All right, guys, don't shy away from the spinach, the broccoli, okay? The green peppers. Don't shy away from... um pop choy don't shy away from string beans you know drink up some green tea and help to rev up that collagen and also get your skin looking amazing just by eating these wonderful things okay all right sandra joseph hello how are you ava owen i i wish collagen would pick up loose skin which is different from sagging skin my arms are a mess and i don't want surgery okay so guess what and this is no joke, okay? If you exercise your arms, this is this is a no joke. If you exercise your arms, they definitely will start to get a firmer, that loose skin, unless it is really, really bad, like you were really, really big and you lose like a lot of weight and you have that loose skin hanging, I'm not saying that it's going to you know, go back with exercise. It will look a little better, but if it's too far gone, then you're going to have an issue, but you still could work those arm and plump it up a bit for it to look better than it was. Okay. If you understand, um, Nikki, I love vegetable. Great. And okay. So we're back into, yes, you're saying sagging skin is different from loose skin. And that is true because we get loose skin with like losing weight. We also get loose skin in if like, you know, you, you have a, a baby and you know, all of that is gone, the baby's out and then the skin get a little loose. Now sagging skin is like the jawline when it started to hang a little, like, you know, when you get into age, you gain a little bit of weight or so then this, the jaw especially tend to start to drop a little. And that is what the sagging skin is. Now, how do you plump that tagging skin up, you try to boost the collagen production in that jawline. How do you plump up a loose skin? Very, very difficult, okay? Very difficult, but you can make it look better by working out. You can also choose to um, apply some wonderful um, tightening mask on your hands and just, just try every little thing. If not, and I don't want to say it, but if it's really, really bad, people nowadays tend to turn to surgery, okay? You don't want to have surgery. It's, once you mention the word surgery, I'm assuming that is really, really bad. But do some, you know, try it out and see what happens. Do it for a, two, three months. It's going to look better. It's not going to be good. Like, it's not going to be like, you know, firm and tight, you know what I'm saying, but it's going to look better. So try that. Work on it. Work on it. You might be surprised. So if you're just joining us, we are talking about boots and collagen production in the skin, but we're also taking questions and we were just addressing the difference between sagging skin and loose skin. We have a, a, a subscriber on the chat that, you know, have loose skin and she don't want to do any form of surgery. So I was just giving advice and, you know, means and ways in which you could help to tighten that. That is not, you know, plumping. That is tightening. Okay. All right. So back to collagen um, remedies that you can use or what you can do to boost the collagen production in the skin. I just mentioned green leaf vegetables, and we're going to be talking about bone broth. Okay, bone broth is made from bones, and if you um, are all in and want to help further boost the collagen production in the skin, you can do supplement and supplements such as the bone broth. Now, before you run and take anything, please consult your doctor. We're not a doctor. 
I'm not a doctor. I'm just you telling you things that I use and stuff that you could check out to use if you're interested in boosting the collagen. All right. Now, for my vegan subscribers, I'm happy to tell you they now have the vegetarian um, collagen boosting broth <laughs> for you. All right. So non-vegan or non-vegetarian you can go ahead get yourself some bro bone broth they have it in capsule and they also have it in powder why are we using the bone broth the bone broth internally is going to help to boost the collagen production overall in your body and you could find bone broth in some very popular supermarket depending on where you live you can also find bone broth and amazon and when i'm done with the video i'm going to list a few links below where you could get this check it out read it for yourself read 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 but guess what guys and i did mention this before on my channel so you're living somewhere and you have no form of access to any form of a bro bone broth but you want to boots the collagen and you want to use bones here what is really easy when you get your meat any form of meat whether you have beef well most bone broth is made from beef bones whether you have beef or you have chicken bones or you have um pork bones what are the meat is out there that people eat lamb bone whatever bones that you have when you go to the grocery instead of looking for the nice cut with a filet on me on, you know, with no bones at all. Try to now start to pick up meat with a little bone, right? So what you do when you get home, you cut off that filet me on section, that nice flat, nice piece that we like. Not me though. Anyway, <laughs> and take those bones, place them in a stock pot, boil them for about an hour or so on low flame and what you do you make yourself some nice simmer down bone broth while you're at it pour put some parsley in it because the parsley is also great you can also choose to put some basil leaf in it if you have some merengue you just put it in it and just drink that you could drink that hot or cold if you get grease on the tops, skim the grease off, throw it away and drink up that wonderful bone broth. Okay, so you have no reason not to try it. And this one is all natural, okay? This one is natural, fresh as it gets. If you're out there and you are taking any form of a supplement, if you are drinking bone broth, if you're using the powder in your smoothies, feel free to comment, but it is the crave. It is the rave. It is just everywhere these days. All right. Judith Morrison. How are you doing? And let me see what did it. Good evening to you, my dear. What can I use to get rid of dark circles under my eyes? We're talking about collagen today, but I will have to answer your question. We have several videos on this channel, like, like a lot of them with dark other eye circles my favorite to use for myself personally is parsley mixed with a lot of other things i like the parsley with the potato i like the parsley with green tea i like parsley with cucumber but for the dark circles i suggest you try some parsley with some potato juice because the potato contain ingredients that can help to lighten the under eyes you can also make a little remedy such as something with carrot seed oil or carrot seed butter and you can mix that with a little rosy oil or some green tea or take that oil and add a little matcha powder to it and use it under your eyes as a night cream or as a night serum and it definitely will help with continuous use to get rid of the dark under eye circles annette williams um PLL for the one on chat and only 25 likes so please don't forget to like okay guys so please thumbs up the video if you are enjoying the topic sometimes i forget i know people just get so carried away with the topic sometimes that they don't remember that is you know it's important to thumbs up the video if you're liking the chat because it really helped the channel okay guys so if you watch a video and you thumbs it up it helped the channel because it show the system that 
you know, people are liking the video. So while watching right below, you're going to see a little thing like this. One is up, one is down. No, you, you really don't have to do the thumbs up if you're not liking it. But if you like the chat, you know, just um, thumbs it up. Lucy, what are you making out there? What about chocolate pudding? Lucy, come on now. Why are we talking about chocolate pudding? All right, chocolate pudding. All right, the chocolate definitely have ingredients in it. But Lucy, if you're going to lo load up that chocolate pudding with a lot of sugar and milk and cream, then, mm. however, fresh milk is also good to boost the collagen in your skin. So the combination might be good, but watch out for the sugar. Hello, Makeup Forever. How are you? All right, Beatrice. Beatrix how to plump and, and, and build collagen around mouth and wrinkles from cheeks to nose? And that is actually a very, very good question. So how to plump the collagen around the mouth and wrinkles um, from cheek to nose? And this is basically the laugh lines, okay? This circle right here, and this is where most people start to show their age. The first place you start to show, show your age is right here. And a lot of people are not aware of that. Right around the eyes, right here, tend to start to go like this. Like, you know, you start to look good. Look at your little um, co-workers that are in like their... 30s going on to 40s and start to watch their eyes. You're going to notice little fine lines and wrinkles coming right there. And the next place that you start to see wrinkles and fine lines is right in the parentheses right here. Now, a lot of people are actually boosting the collagen in their skin by going to, you know, those fancy places and get it injected. Like a lot of people think I do that, but absolutely no needle and um. Chichi Beauty is no friend, okay? All right, so they go and they get it all plump up, but I'm going to answer that question and I'm going to tell you something that I'm always talking about on this channel is to do some facial exercises. I do those a lot and those are like some no joke. You're going to use some clay mask, any form of a clay mask, and I put, oh, it's going to come out tomorrow morning, a video containing clay masks. Really, really awesome. Really wonderful. I actually use it and look at that. Mm, 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 mm. Look, at, look, look at that. Anyway, that is going to be out there tomorrow morning. Any form of a clay mask, you could mix that with some green tea. And along with that, definitely, definitely for fast result, you do some facial exercises. And I have a couple of videos on my channel and there are some nice ones here on YouTube that you can use to help to, you know, take care of the mouth wrinkles and the parentheses, all right? So any clay mask, use it. And I also make other videos using other ingredients such as cornstarch and stuff like that, that you can use, add stuff to it, wrinkle fighting like cornstarch with green tea, all of those wrinkle fighting ingredients, put it in there. When you're done, rinse off, use any oils that contain a lot of vitamin A, I in vitamin A, such as rosehip oil or even quailine oil or wheat germ oil contains like uh, an amazing amount of vitamin A. Hello, Jason. How are you? Happy Sunday from France. Esther Starpark. Hi, sister. How are you doing? Oh, my grace of God, you... Um, you're doing amen, amen. All right, thank you. All right, so we also have Ava Owens. I haven't seen you for a while. How are you? Welcome to Sunday Chit Chat. We also have Divine, Divine Farm TV. Hello. I love Pakistan. That is like one of my oh, like way back subscriber, and I have not seen you. I probably you probably was on and I overlooked, but I haven't seen you for a while. Happy to see you. That's how I feel when my subscribers like you know, everyone is welcome. I love to see everyone, but those that are so faithful, you know, sometimes I really have to let them know that I appreciate them. Karen McDowell is also another one. I eat it. How are you? Eat it, Lampkin. Hello, Chichi. Made a batch of the body scrub, infusing it for a few days. Can't wait to use all the goodness of transform my skin complexion. Thanks for all that goodness you create and you are so welcome. Now, Edith is talking about the body scrub that was posted yesterday. Guys, I'm telling you, if 
you have the ingredients, which is simple because we have brown sugar in it. We have some dried orange peel in it and some other wonderful oils and stuff like it's amazing. And I'm not saying that because, you know, it's my video. I'm saying that because I use it. I like it and I share it and people like it. So it is really, 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 really a wonderful experience to get in your shower and just exfoliate your entire body. All right, clean the skin so that you can apply like some vitamin A oil to help to boost the collagen production. I know I don't, I need not to stray from the topic or you guys going to really come at me. All right, guys. So we talk about the bone broth and we talk about like supplement to boost collagen production. I'm also going to tell you that you need to drink a lot of water. But before I get into talking about water, let us talk a little bit about ice. Sometimes we overlook that. Nowadays, I'm trying to get you guys to to use some of these facial mask cold because coldness do plump the skin up all right and if you don't believe me research it for yourself if you rub ice on your skin for about 30 seconds or so it's going to temporarily plump the skin up but if you do it continuously it's gonna eventually have your skin looking all plump and filled out so when you make these wonderful i'm not telling you to go constantly rub ice on your face so an easy way to get that coldness just like the ice is to put your facial mask in the refrigerator facial mask that is not going to get dry in the refrigerator do not try full of or nothing with clay do not refrigerate but any facial mask that you make like using like yogurt and papaya and all these wonderful goodness that we use put it in the refrigerator for about an hour and then apply it to your face oh my me me now if you have like a function coming up and you want your skin to look amazing radiant just plump and you know really nice looking get yourself a good facial mask and a facial mask was posted this morning that is like a new joke are is my face looking awesome today i use that this morning really really good all right put it in the refrigerator just before you do your facial so get ready early you have a function coming up you want to look amazing you're going to meet the in-laws you want to look amazing try one of that masks and i use ripe banana in this uh-huh ripe banana believe it or not really really freckled banana mixed with some amazing ingredient such as oatmeal Guess what? Hydrating the skin, tightening and firming the skin all in one, guys. You need to try if you have a banana and some oatmeal, don't miss that one. And it's post this morning. So after the show, go and watch it, use it and come back and comment. All right. So I was telling you now, if you want to boost the collagen production in your skin really, really fast, a quick temporary, temporary fix, then whatever facial mask you're going to use, put it in the refrigerator and do your face about two hours or so before you, you go out. So during the time that you're getting your clothes ready and all of that, wear the facial mask cool on your face. And guess what guys, you're going to have a temporarily plum face. But as I said, if you do it on a regular, eventually you're going to walk around with your face looking like you just get a wonderful Botox job done. All right. All right. Collagen, collagen, collagen really really great for the skin now for oils i'm watching my time oh where's the time all right let me take some question and then we're going to talk about the collagen boots in oil i forget to talk about rice purple rice i talk about this so much these days because i'm so into it okay Purple rice is now like the new thing when it comes on to helping to boost collagen in your face and also to eat. So black rice and purple rice is good to eat. Purple cabbage is good to eat, okay? Um, blueberries is good to eat to boost the collagen production internally so that you can look amazing externally, all right? I just rushed that little purple talk that I was going to do just now so i just kind of give you guys an idea Corinne blunner i i'm watching you from australia and 
hopefully, hopefully next year I'll be in Australia. Okay, can't wait, can't wait. All right, so we have uh, Margaret. Can I add turmeric to the body scrub? Yes, you can add turmeric to it, but as I said, you're going to be in your shower. Be mindful because it's a full all over body scrub, and you know what is, goes on when you use a lot of turmeric, but definitely add the turmeric to it because it's going to have to brighten the skin all right all right you can also choose to add any form of a, a brightening agent or any other ingredients papaya whatever it is papaya peel you can choose to add to that amazing scrub all right we have um ruby ruby Mormon. i've been taking collagen for two years now and it's helping a lot along with a lot of water so there is and this is exactly a comment that i am so happy to receive so someone on the chat is actually taking collagen and it is helping a lot if you don't mind me asking um ruby what is it that you're taking are you taking the the bone broth powder or are you doing the capsule and i love pakistan your skin is glowing thank you so much we also have lucy it's a nice video i watched it this morning okay great thank you so much sub cupcake i am from lusaka zambia and hello to all my subscribers out there in zambia esther i really thank you for the good work oh keep it um uh, oh god bless thank you so much for that and we also have um i think my chat is uh moving a little slow today all right just fast forward a little too fast and we have brenda thanks for the good advice you are welcome we also have sharon lewin actually it is one year now since i am following you and happy anniversary thank you so much thank you so much and that's what i like to hear i like you know when people like let me know exactly that they are following for a long time i have a subscriber that i've been looking for from the other day did she kind of say something a little rude and i kind of answer back that's so rude but low-key rude <laughs> and i haven't seen her from them i miss you if you're watching and you're not commenting you know who you are all right all right so come back on the chat all right um nazi n-g-o-z-i um uh, my family and i my family and hello chichi i love you and i love you right back Thank you for watching. So guys, we're talking, if you're watching the video today, the chat, you like the topic, give it a thumbs up. If you're using any form of a collagen, if you're using a facial mask that you think up to plump your skin up, feel free to comment and share it. Share, 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 share. Mansa, so, so. Good evening, dear. I have been experimenting with your recipe. Thank you so much for that. Now, guys, I so want to talk. I have a, a list of other things I want to talk about. And I'm looking at the time like, no. All right. The best oils for boots and collagen production in the skin for fighting wrinkles and fine lines in as any form of an oil that contains a lot of yes thank you uh, in the form of an oil that contain a lot of vitamin a all right whatever oil that you can find out there with vitamin a that is skin friendly is going to help to boost the collagen production now some of these oils are ones like rosehip oil we have cocaine oil that have more vitamin a than the rosehip oil we also have like the batchy oil and someone asked me to go a little deeper in talking about batchy oil which i will and we also have like carrot seed oil or carrot seed butter these are oils that contains a lot of or more vitamin a than the rest of the oils and if you use them on your skin if you mix them in your serum if you mix them in your facial mask you'll get a good dose of vitamin a externally that is going to help to boost collagen production in the skin if you want me to get deeper into talking about natural vitamin um collagen boosting products uh, such as a uh, bone broth and stuff like that feel free to comment and i definitely will do a video um talking in more details about these things now my time is like really really near so i'm going to take the rest of my time to answer questions any questions on collagen boots then any question on skincare any question on 
plumping the skin up externally or internally i will do kitchen taking the vitamin a is also good definitely definitely but the vitamin vitamin a is very very strong okay very very strong a little goes a long way whether you're going to take it internally or externally i um well i can't say that but check with your doctor if you're going to take vitamin a okay but definitely externally a little goes a long way you just use like just a two drops and that is good enough for your skin and always use the vitamin a oil that is with a good carrier oil hi rita how are you rita Holmes? that is and your skin is glowing today thank you so much i thought yes i'm probably in a good mood today like mm, it's an holiday tomorrow happy labor day to all of you out there celebrating labor day what are you guys in america that is what are you guys going to be doing for labor day all right labor day you guys are supposed to labor you know but here in america most people don't labor what we do we eat burgers hot dogs um what they call those things trim showdown like um in Louisiana where they have those all shrimps like whatever it is and you just pour it out that kind of thing then you have all these all steaks and slab of meat and yeah yeah that's what labor that's how I see Labor Day all right like back in the Caribbean now Labor Day we go to like the schools we have to paint and you know we um cut the grass and you go to somebody else or the church I don't know if they still do that or you know but that's what Labor Day used to be about. I don't know if it still goes on here in America. I just, you know, go crazy for Labor Day to eat. All right. Anyway, <laughs> Angela Pitt, greetings. Um, Cecile Rodriguez, your skin is beautiful. My face is getting clear from dark spotting. Thank you so much. Jackie Mom, so I bought a jar of um, a brand collagen and elastin moisturizer. Is that enough to condition and tighten my skin or would I need to do um, internally? All right, let me keep it clean and clear with you. And I'm going to be honest. A lot of times when you get some of these um, bulk production in skincare, it's just a little touch. It's just enough for it to pass the FD, um, um, sort of lose my time. It's just enough for to, 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 to pass to be able to list it on the products. And I think I'm going to do a video like talking about, you know, how they go about listing stuff on their products. So it's always like really not enough. All right. And that is why you find that little jars are always so expensive, like little collagen boosting jar that you find like these IN beauty products. They always like so expensive because there's more in it really and truly but some of these bulk production little but it can be listed if it's if it if it's past the required amount so i normally had more things so for like that lotion if you have the vitamin e capsule just squeeze a few in it the vitamin a that is just squeeze a few in it to be sure that you're getting um, a stronger dose of the vitamin A. All right. I hope I answer your question. And we also have um, Lily. Fantastic. My dear Rita, why is it when you get the papaya cold, it fall off your face? Or when you get the papaya, are you saying when you get it cold, it fa fall off? Because it is not, you got to make sure it's totally puree okay when it's totally puree it's gonna it's gonna stick um but if not just add something else to it like oh i mix love to mix it with the cornstarch all right um lucy i used to tell my children it is the day for the ladies to go labor <laughs> um babies <laughs> I think you go out and you work and then after that you go and you eat you know and then you go and you do that all right come here but i've uh, been watching for a while now thank you so much jabari darbo love you beautiful thank you so much and um chichi yes you have answered my question thank you so much for that guys as you know this show is a 30 minute show and the time is up and uh, 
for some of the chit chat, I don't know. The time is always short, and I always want to talk more. But collagen, 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 the big, and it doesn't matter your age, okay? If you're in your 20s, you definitely not need to start be mindful of you the, the the skin, whether it's gonna, you know, be glowing or whether you're gonna try Terran G. I didn't say hi to you. Hello. Hi Jason, how are you? All right, whether it's gonna be like you know glowing tightening brightening whatever it is you need to start to take care of your skin and definitely when it comes down to boots and collagen in your 20s you're going to practice to 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 do facial massages and all of that so that when you get to like my age your skin still look amazing so this topic is basically for everyone once you touch your teen and you start your old skincare thing you start to take care of your skin from a young age 60 year old you're gonna look amazing 70 you're gonna look fabulous and 80 you're gonna look awesome okay guys so that's my time i love you guys let me take a few more questions i know my time is up i think you should set drill this show to maximum one hour half hour is too short um live um your show and all, love your show and all your videos. I do understand that I might do that, but what happened is that most of the views for the Sunday show is normally after the show, because most people don't get a chance to see the live show. So I try to keep it short for 30 minutes so that when they come back on and they watch, they would enjoy it because they're not able at that time. They could leave a comment, but like you guys interacting with each other, each other they're not able to do that so i'm always thinking that the show might be a little boring for them you know like when we have our little side jokes and all of that they watching wouldn't know who made that comment and stuff like that and that's why we keep it for um 30 minutes but what i'm gonna do i'm gonna try to extend it to 45 minutes and then i'll see how that goes and if that works then we'll try thinking about um one hour and thanks for that comment all right um root i dare doing a wonderful job what about the african red palm i don't know if you know it i read that it is packed with vitamin a and d maybe some um advice on how to use it honestly i don't know about it but as usual this is exactly what i like a lot of things i learned from my subscribers so now you're telling me about it and you know i'm gonna go look it up all right i'm definitely gonna look it up read up on it and probably within a month or so you'll hear me come back and i will be talking about it so i'm making sure that i write it down and mary brian how are you i hope you are having a wonderful day today and Karen, yes, you'd love that. Pam, Pam, B A I N S. Um, how are you, Chichi? I am doing fine. And Miss Taylor, can I add collagen powder to my bone broth to for it to be stronger? Yes, 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 and yes. All right. And we also have um Zoo. I'm gonna spell your name because um this is French, I think. It's probably not Z Z O U L I K H A. Um, thank you for watching. Amina um, Rumbly, I think you should say, okay, I just read that. All right, guys, so I think I, whatever is in my view, please note sometimes I don't see all the comments. They be very selective in what they show me. They show me like just top comment. However, we have um, some announcement coming up maybe next week where we're going to let, let you know how you can make your comments be more pronounced or when you comment i will be able to see those top comments okay so next week we're going to be talking about that now my show is and uh, oh still sweating it's not so hot like a couple of weeks ago here in new york guys but you know i'm under a lot of lighting so i'm sweating vitamin c not vitamin a this is oh boy this was sent to me guys not a sponsor video it's very hard because of the lighting let's see if i could grab okay vitamin c and this is some pure vitamin c this was sent to me and i am um, actually enjoy enjoying this vitamin c vitamin c is a little tricky not everyone can do a good vitamin c this is all natural and i think i'm going to tell you guys a little more about it it was sent to me so really really good um vitamin c i just feel like mentioning that but i'll talk about that next week all right and um that's it <laughs> 
That's it, guys. Guess what? My auntie's in the kitchen and they're cooking up some good stuff and I'm going to eat. All right. Next week, I will probably bring her on the show. And if you want me to make a video with my auntie, since a lot of people think my skin is like, oh, so uh, bring someone on the show. I'll bring her on the show for you guys. I'll make a video with my auntie demonstrating some of my awesome ingredients on her. Hopefully she will be <laughs> in for it because she's a little camera shy, but it would really be nice for you to see me using my stuff on someone else and also see the result. If you're in for it, leave your comments. All right, guys, I gotta go, I gotta go. I love you guys, take care of yourself. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Enjoy your Monday morning try a facial do two or three facial this week no matter how simple and everyone on the chat today remember to do some facial exercises or some facial massages along with you know the facial mask there's no ellen on the show today i haven't seen ellen on the show for a while she's probably watching and not commenting but i definitely still giving her, her a shout out i noticed that you know the old um subscribers know who i'm talking about ellen if you're watching how are you doing give me uh, a shout with an email all right guys gotta go i love you guys and i'll see you next week sunday 4 30 p.m eastern standard time for another in our series sunday chit chat with chichi beauty we also have another series and this is on friday and friday is let's talk skincare with chichi beauty where we not only talk about natural stuff but we talk about everything that is going on out there in the skincare world all right so that's another interesting show so don't miss it 1 30 p.m eastern standard time every friday love you guys go watch the video that i post this morning with the banana and the oatmeal and also watch the video with the body scrub two amazing no joke amazing remedies for you share the video also share 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 with your friends your family on your social media give it a try and then come back and leave a comment i love you guys and i'll see you soon bye bye happy labor day to all those that's going to labor tomorrow in America. Bye-bye. <coughs>